So, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon is distance problem. So, bago tayo mag-proceed, pag-aaralan muna natin yung tatlong important words sa distance problem, which are the distance, rate, and time. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng tatlong word na to? Okay, ang distance is the measure of how far you travel. Ito yung sukat kung gaano kalayo ang iyong nabiyahe or nalakbay. At ang unit na ginagamit sa distance is miles or m. While yung rate is the measure of the speed that you travel. Ito yung uh, kung gaano ka kabilis biyahe ka. And ang unit na ginagamit natin dito is MPH or miles per hour. And finally, yung time is for how long you travel or kung gaano ka katagal nag biyahe or, or kung ilang oras. Kapag ang okay, so meron tayo dito ng DRT diagram para mas lalo na, mas madali natin maintindihan o makuha yung sagot kapag ang hinihingi Uh, sa problem ay yung distance, yung rate, o kaya ay yung time. So, meron tayo dito ang triangle. Ang triangle na to ay may tatlong part. Okay? So, sa taas, nandun yung D. And then, sa lower left side is nandun yung R. While dun sa lower right side is nandun yung T. Okay? So, D stands for distance, R stands for rate, and T stands for time. So, kapag ang hinahanap sa problem ay distance, so, dahil magkatabi ang R at T, imumultiply natin ang R at T. Okay, so ang magiging formula natin is distance is equal to rate times time or D is equal to R times T. Yung point is, uh, ibig sabihin nun is multiply. Okay, so paano naman kapag ang hinahanap sa problem ay ang rate? Okay, so since nasa ta ma mang matitira sa ating diagram ay yung D at T, Okay, so i-divide natin yung D over T since nasa taas yung D at nasa baba yung T. So ang magiging formula natin kapag hinahanap ay ang rate, rate is equal to distance divided by time or R is equal to D divided by time. Okay, so what if naman kung ang hinahanap ay time? Okay, so since ang maiiwan ay D over R, ganun din, i-divide natin ang D pero this time i-divide na natin ang distance sa R. So we have formula time is equal to Distance divided by rate or T is equal to D divided by R. Okay, so i-apply natin ngayon siya sa distance problem. Okay, let's have example number 1. Okay, ang sabi, a bus traveled at 65 miles per hour for 4 hours. How many miles did it travel? Okay, so I'm given here na rate which is 65 miles per hour and time is equal to 4 hours. Okay, ang tanong, how many miles did it travel? So, gano'ng kalayo daw ang uh, nalakbay ng bus na nag-travel at 65 mile per, miles per hour for 4 hours. So, ang hinahanap dito is distance or D. Okay, so, referring to our uh, DRT diagram, since ang hinahanap ay D, so, bibilugan natin itong uh, rate and time. So, imumultiply natin ang rate and time. So, we have distance is equal to rate times time. Okay? So, substitute natin yung value ng rate which is 65 miles per hour and then ita times natin sa time which is equal to 4 hours. So, 65 times 4, it is equal to 260 miles. Okay. There, uh, we have here example number 2. A train traveled at 255 miles in 300 minutes. Determine the rate at which the train was traveling. Okay. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, yung time natin is given in minutes. So, kailangan i-convert natin muna yung minutes into hour para ma-substitute natin siya dun sa ating formula. Okay, how are we going to substitute uh, minutes into hours? So, we have here 300, okay? We have uh, to convert first 300 minutes to hours. So, number of hours is equal to 300 minutes. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Imumultiply natin siya sa 1 hour over 60 minutes. So, 300 minutes over 60 minutes is equal to 5 hours. Okay, so ang, ang time natin ngayon is instead na 300 minutes is 5 hours na siya. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so referring. Okay, so ang given sa problem natin is our day is equal to 255 miles. So ang time natin na 300 minutes is equal to 5 hours na. And then, the required is, since ang sabi sa problem is determine the rate at which the train was traveling, obviously, the required is the rate or the R. Okay, so referring to our DRT diagram, since ang hinahanap ay R, by D over T. 
Okay, so we have formula R is equal to D over T or rate is equal to distance divided by time. Substituting the value, ang distance natin is equal to 255 miles. Ang ating time is 5 hours. So we have to divide 255 miles divided by 5 hours. Therefore, ang rate natin is 51 miles per hour. Okay, so that's it. Ganyan kung paano isolve ang rate. Okay. Okay, so let's have example number 3. How long will it take to drive 100 miles at 60 miles per hour? Okay, ang given dito sa problem natin is 100 miles is equal to distance and 60 miles per hour is our rate. Okay, so ang tinatanong is how long will it take to drive? Uh, that place in one ha uh, that 100 miles at 60 miles per hour. Therefore, ang tinatanong dito is the time o kung gaano katagal i-drive i yung uh, 100 miles na yun. Okay, referring to our DRT diagram again. So, since hinahanap ay T, so, i-divide natin ngayon ang D over R. Okay, we have time is equal to distance divided by R. Okay, substituting the value, our distance is equal to 100 miles and then our rate is 60 miles per hour. So, 100 miles divided by 60 is equal to 1.67 hours or 1 hour and 14 minutes. Okay, so for you to exercise or practice uh, this distance problem, I have uh, prepared here exercises for you. I have three problems here. Okay, number one, if I drive for three hours, how fast do I have to go to drive 99 miles? Okay, number two, how long will it take to drive 100 miles at 60 miles per hour? And finally, the Rafa family drove for three and a half hours from Quezon to Mall of Asia at a rate of 53 miles per hour. Determine the distance that the Rafa family traveled. Okay, so again, Post your answer below on the comment box. And then, pag nakita ko na yung comment nyo, i-reply ko na yung uh, answer key sa mga comment ninyo. Okay? So, that's all for now. I hope natutunan kung paano ang pag-solve ng distance problem. So, that's the end of our video for today. And, uh, Kung di pa kayo nagla-like and nagsusubscribe sa ating channel, please do like and subscribe para laging updated sa mga videos na i-upload natin. Okay? So, thank you for watching again and see you again next time.